What's going on YouTube? Jelani from JelaniTheMarketer.com here, back again with another video. And in this video, guys, I'm gonna be talking about day 11 from the 30 day challenge. If you don't know what I'm talking about, click the link below. Uh, I'm doing a 30 day challenge where it's a follow along where I am following Trey Llewellyn's 30 day plan on how to make money based out of thin air, basically. Like, So if you click the link below, you can start from day one and then go all the way up to day 11 and see the process and where we're at right now. But today, what we're gonna be talking about is the new email um format that i'm going to be sending out we're going to be talking about that how i uh, designed it and i'm also going to be talking to you guys about how i'm finding new companies instead of going the magazine route um, i'm going to be showing you the strategies that i am using um, to find these companies but before i do that hit that subscribe button hit that alert button so you know when i post a new video because i'm posting a video um every single day uh going along with this challenge but then also after the challenge i'll be doing um a video a day based on different tutorials um and talk alongs and stuff like that so definitely subscribe and hit that alert button all right so let's get right into it the first thing we're going to be talking about is the email that i'm going to be sending out and um i, I have it uh, written out right here so in in yesterday's video i talked about like what i did wrong uh, my mistakes and how i'm going to be fixing those mistakes so this is the video this is what i planned on doing and instead of actually just emailing people um today tonight or yesterday i figured i would just wait and actually just make videos about back-end systems and what I'm training like doing trainings on what I'm doing to find the companies and um, more email sequences email sequencing um, and talk about that rather than just forcing these emails and then come Monday because today is Thursday um, come Monday then that's when we'll really hit the ground running and by that time we'll have at least 50 to 70 companies that we can just mass email um, and really just see if we can get some response um, and then also probably do some research to get some phone numbers as well because it is probably important that I get the phone number just in case they don't respond. I can ring their line and say, hey, you know, I sent you guys an email. I'm not sure if you guys received it, but this is what we're talking about, blah, blah, blah. Right. So we're going to be doing that. But let's just get right into the email. So I changed it up a little bit and I just I kind of kept the first beginning part. So we'll say hi. Um, if we have the if we have the company's name or the person's name, we can just put hi name. Um, but typically we'll just say hi if it's just a support at, you know, regular email like that. Um, so I say I hope this email finds you well because I don't, I don't know really who's going to get this email if I don't have their name. Um, I, I'm using my real name this time. My name is Shalani. I'm the marketing manager at Gaming Junkies Incorporated. Um, so I said I just wanted to touch base with you to inform you that we are doing a free giveaway in the next two weeks and thought your line of products would make a great fit for the giveaway. We are partnering up with some major companies who are going to be donating items for the giveaway in exchange for the leads generated from the contest. So essentially you would receive the leads from each um, company that participates now this is really important because i changed up the direction of um being more upfront rather than just being like you know this is what we might be doing this is you know i'm telling them how we're doing it um how they're going to get the leads how the leads are going to be generated and what they're going to get in return for participating in this contest which is really important um especially when you're cold uh cold emailing um, a company or anyone really you want to try to get right to the point they don't know who you are just get to the point what are you asking what do you want from them right so i said so essentially you would receive the leads from uh from each company that participates we estimate that 30 to fifty thousand people or more will enter meaning um i'm gonna actually change this to thousands will enter meaning thousands more people uh you can reach via email and promote your products to we were wondering if you would like to donate to the contest. I'd love to jump on a quick call to discuss further. When are you available? And then if this is just a regular support line, I would say something like, um, can you please direct me to the marketing um, company or, or marketing department or whatever? Something like that. Um, so like if this generic person or someone that's a contractor or like a, a VA or someone that's in the company that doesn't really know where this should go, I'm telling them like, hey, just direct me to the marketing department um, and then they can read that email. So that's the new email. Um, I got this. I sent this out to a few people that I um, trust and they thought it was pretty good. So that gives me uh, basically a go ahead to kind of send this out and test this out. So we're going to be testing this out Monday. Um, so let's actually talk about the new strategy. So the new strategy that I'm going to do uh, for this challenge rather than going in magazines is I'm going to go on Google. I'm just going to do a Google search and I'm going to find top gaming companies that um, are either A, into esports, so meaning that they are in the gaming area. They have sponsoring, uh, they have a sponsor program, they sponsor athletes. Um, they do that type of stuff already. So that, that way, um, they're kind of used to contests. They're kind of used to um, doing promotions and helping affiliates and doing stuff like that. So 
that is the the route I'm going. I'm literally going onto Google like sites like these where I'm looking up esports sponsorships, partners and sponsors. And these are um these are just teams. So basically all these teams are uh teams that play esports or games online. They they either stream on Twitch or they do they do uh, professional gaming uh tournaments. And these are the companies that, that uh, support them. Now, some of these companies are not U.S. based, so you have to be be sure to make sure that the company is U.S. based. Um, that's something that I went over in yesterday's video. Just making sure that the company is U.S. based and not a company that is in Europe, so that you don't have to worry about GDPR when uh, transferring the leads, but also you don't have to worry about um, astronomical shipping fees or anything like that. So just make sure the company is in the U.S. So you can see all these companies are sponsors of different um, athletes and we can do this, we can find different um, gaming, so gaming types like um, first person shooter sponsors, we can find um, role play uh, sponsors, we can find console sponsors, like all these different things you can do on Google and just find the sponsors of these teams or you know you can look up um, League of Legends teams for example, you can look up uh, Call of Duty teams. Um, Counter Strike teams, like all these different teams, Fortnite teams, if there's if there is any, right? Like, get creative with what the team is, and then just say sponsors of team or sponsors of gaming type, um, and this can be transferable to any type of niche, right? You can, if if the niche uh, does sponsor people, then you can do that. But there's other ways to get around it. Like for example, if you're in fishing, there's there's uh, fishing sponsors. Um, any type of sport, any type of uh, or any type of niche that is uh, team related or even not even teams like for example like skateboarding um, skateboarding is a singular sport like you don't have a team really unless you're sponsored by a team where you have a team but still it's like something that um, you do on your own you're not really you know you're not, you're not uh, playing basketball right like you don't have assists right you're doing your own thing um, but there's there's sponsors that um, sponsor individual skaters or, or individual teams. So there's different ways you can go about it, different avenues that you can go about it. And I think this is really, really um, unique only because you don't really have to go out and buy magazines. You can just look up the sponsors of these teams and of these gaming types and then uh, reach out to them because, again, they're already in the mindset of um, sponsoring people. They're already in the mindset of promotion and they, they deal with this type of stuff. So the more that they deal with it, the more likely you may get a response back, especially if you're saying that you're going to be sending them thirty to 50,000 leads in exchange for just um, a donation, right? Like just a product that you're going to be giving away to someone. So this is really, really cool. I'm really excited to take this into effect on Monday. Like I said, I'm going to be doing a lot of research, finding as much as many companies as I can. Um, so that I can reach out to them and do some mass email broadcasting on Monday and then also going back finding the numbers to uh, those companies and then um, I, I think I might actually get my uncle involved. Um, he's really good at talking to people. I personally don't really like talking on the phone, <laughs> I'll be honest. Um, and that's like something that I have to overcome eventually if I'm going to be trying to do this type of thing. Like, I know I speak to, on YouTube and I do lives and I do these different things, but it's kind of different when you're on the phone with someone trying to get a business deal done. I think it takes a different type of character. And I, I feel personally that I'm not there yet. So that is hope. I might do that. Um, I might just do it myself, right? Like just kind of uh, challenge myself and overcome that hurdle. But we'll see what happens. But I definitely want to make sure that I get that outreach um, in terms of the number. Um, and the email front, but this is the new strategy guys. I know yesterday I said I was going to be talking about it, but this is it. This is something that I think is scalable. I think it's something that we can reach a lot of different companies in different areas. Um, and even if one says no, and one say, all we need is, honestly, all we need is one company because if one company says yes, then we can go back to all the other companies that said no and say, hey, this company said yes, right? This is your competitor, right? This is someone that can you can use their list and promote your products to, so why wouldn't you do it, right? The only caveat to this is the company may not want to share their list or or share um, yeah like share the, the the leads with other people or their competitors. But I think it's going to be great. I think this is something that um, is going to work. I think that we have something good. So I'm really excited to show you guys the results. Hopefully we do get some people involved. Um, I'm really really stoked. So guys, if you like this video, hit that subscribe button, hit that alert button. We're gonna be talking about a lot of different things, back end systems, and how all this uh, plans out. So definitely subscribe and hit that alert button. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any comments or suggestions, leave those down below. I really, really appreciate the comments, guys. You've been giving me amazing, amazing, amazing feedback. So it's really awesome to uh, kind of just share this with you guys. So definitely comment below. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.